hi guys today's video i am going to show you how to catch configuration files in laravel application and we can improve our laravel application performance by using uh, like config catch command okay so let me go and let's understand so first of all let me go here into the vs code editor and you can see that there is a config folder and we have all configurations uh, files over here for the app for the auth for the catch for the database for the mail and for the queue all so every time when like our application needs to send an email then they are taking the email configuration from here okay like smtp details same thing for the queue they are every time taking from the queue okay so what i am going to do we are going to use laravel config catch command to catch this all the files so like laravel can get this information quickly okay so let me go here and let's run the command php artisan config catch test edge okay so this is just information and description create a catch file for faster configuration so that means this is the command for that okay and now let me run php artisan config catch and hit enter and you can see that configuration catched successfully okay so that means let me go here and you can see if i go to the bootstrap there is a catch folder okay and inside the catch folder they have created one file config.php and this is already git ignored so if you are doing this in locally that it's only work for local if you are doing for production then you can do for like it's work for production so if i go here you can see that they have catch everything you can see over here okay but be careful with that if you are doing uh, if you are using like env function then it will be not working so let me show you a quick demo over there so let me go and go to the web okay and inside my default route i am going to just get because i have already catched the config so if i say just app name okay and i will just use env helper okay and i will take app underscore name okay so you can see over here app underscore name okay and save it and just dd app name okay and save it okay and now let me go here and i will just say php artisan so okay application let me run it okay and go to the browser and you can see that i am getting the null because i already have the catch okay so let me go here and now let me use with directly from the config app name config okay and i will take from app dot name save okay so that means i'm getting from the config helper so let me go and just refresh you can see that i am able to catch it so that means be careful if you are using the config catch then you don't have to use env anymore okay you you have to use the configs so okay and now let me go here and for example you already catch you also have to be careful if you are going to change like laravel 12 okay and save it and now if i go here and if i refresh it it's not going to change so that means because it's already catch so if you are going to store like uh, run this command to your production when you pull or when you change dot env file make sure you need to clear the configuration so how can how you can clear it so let me go and i will just run php artisan config clear okay so that means configuration catch clear successfully and then you can again catch it okay so just cast configuration cast successfully and now let me go here and just refresh you can see that laravel 12 over here so that means be careful with that so how you can use and make sure when you change anything in env you have to clear the catch and again the catch okay and now let's see how they are working how laravel define this okay this command so let me go and show you config catch command okay so laravel already defined this command in vendor file you can see config colon catch okay go to the handle function and you can see that first config clear so that means they are already clear the configuration catch before doing this and then you can see over here they are getting the fresh configuration okay so let me go here and just dd config save it okay and here i'm going to just change 12 into 13 okay and then let me run the command again catch and you can see that there is all the configuration array they have created in single array you can see over here yeah 
you can see Laravel 13 they have taken and then let me go here and after that inside that they have get catch the config path so that means let me just see what they have this path so let me just paste it and let's run the same command again and you can see that this is the path where they are going to store this config.php catch file so you can see inside the bootstrap folder i already show you inside the bootstrap there is a catch folder and there will be a config.php file you can see over here config.php still i have dd so that's why it's not created at over here so let me just remove this file save it okay and now let me run config catch and if i go here you can see that config.php file so that means you understand how easily we can use config uh, call and catch command and uh, you can see how it is important okay so that way like uh, your application will be much more faster so at the end don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for more videos about laravel thank you so much for watching guys